Georgia, good to see you. Welcome to Poptternative. Thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I'm excited to chat with you about Horizon American Saga. I have so many questions because so much had happened before you go to camera on this. Yeah. This is huge. The scale of this is massive. Um, people are going to be able to see it June 28th in theaters. It's two movies. Like, yeah. what is the audition process like for this? Like, what do you even know? Do they tell you it's Horizon? Do you know it's two yeah. movies? I'm curious about that. I didn't know that much going into it. I mean, I got this audition, I think, last summer. I mean, it seems like forever ago. But I got the audition, and then I just sent it and forget it like we're supposed to do in case it goes nowhere. But then about two weeks later, I got a call that I was pinned for the role. So we went out to dinner to celebrate and everything, thinking it wouldn't go any further, of course. But then I got a call a little after that saying that they want me there in a week in Utah. So pretty crazy. It happened so fast. It's crazy. And, you know, it's 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 two films. And I feel like that's the thing that is, is pretty crazy, right? So it's like yes. are those filmed, like, all in one kind of... Like, did you take a break between the films or was they filmed all in one kind yeah, of sequence? We did take a break. I think it was, I don't know, maybe six months, okay. a year. I don't really have any time anymore. I know. Again, yeah, we did time. take a I break. Know, I interviews with people and like, I look back and like, I'll do like returning <laughs> guests. Like, yeah. The last time I spoke. I just know that I was definitely older in the second one. That's, <laughs> <laughs> I had time to grow up. Um, I'm just wondering with like, there's so much kind of at play with this because there's so many like, from an acting story thought perspective, you know, the Western component of it. And then there's, you know, the family story. And then of course, yeah, you know, the historical uh, aspect of it, which one kind of stands out for you the most when you're reading the script for this specifically? I was reading the script. I don't know. It was definitely fun to read about all Kevin's action. Yeah. I mean, like when he would like be pulling out the weapons and stuff and he just had so many cool quotes and everything. I was just reading. I was like, wow, he's going to look really cool on this. <laughs> so that was definitely really fun part to read yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm sure there was so many learning experiences for you from an acting like storyteller perspective on oh these movies. Like, can you kind of share a couple that come to mind, so to speak? Yeah, one that comes to mind for sure is when I was filming with Sienna or really all the actors, one thing that I learned was that the script is really just a guide and that every actor brings their own emotional depth into the character. And it just makes for such a dramatic and really just a more amazing movie. Absolutely. What was the pace like filming? Did it depend on the days? Was there an overall like did they feel did it feel like quick at times? Did it feel slower? Like what would like for your stuff specifically, like what would you say the pace was of filming the horizon films? Of filming the horizon films? I mean, it seemed to fly by. <laughs> I mean, being there in Moab, such a beautiful place. Everyone was so nice to me. It just felt like a dream the whole time. It felt like I was there for like a week at most. But yeah. I'd say it was about four weeks, the whole filming process for the first movie. Probably the second one about the same for me, for my role at least. Yeah. And so, yeah, I mean, the pacing just went by a lot faster than it seems. I also find it interesting, too, because, you know, the scale, like we talked about at the beginning of the interview, it's so big. And I feel like you got, like, there's so many, like, actors on this film. And there's some actors that you work with more than others. What's it? What was it like working on an ensemble cast like this specifically? Oh my gosh. I mean, it was incredible. Every moment I was there, I felt like I was learning something that I was just, I was in the presence of such skilled, talented people and that I would pick up so many things, so many skills from them. So it was definitely really grateful for that. Oh, a hundred percent. Um, what is your favorite thing about being an actor and storyteller? Is there something you like the most about doing it specifically? Yeah, actually, I think that my favorite thing about being an actor and it's the reason I am an actor is that after I film these movies, these projects are going to outlive me. And my kids and my grandkids will all be able to watch these projects. And it'll definitely make an impact on them and everyone else. And so I think that just being able to create something that's going to impact so many people is just so cool and so amazing. I'm so grateful. And, you know, a couple more questions for a wrap up. Um, you know, obviously you work on this film. It has a lot of moving parts. There's so much kind of happening. Yeah. And everything, cast and crew and everything. Do you feel like inspired to like go behind the camera, and, like write, and like direct or produce after like after working on a film like Horizon American Saga specifically? Yeah, actually, I want to go to college and study screenwriting when I get older because I think that being a screenwriter and being able to create my own movies in the future, maybe do, maybe do what Kevin does too. Maybe write a movie then act in the movie. I think that'd be super duper cool. And last question as well. Um, when I get a chance to watch, you know, Horizon American Saga, um, you know, June 28th, the first film is going to be out in theaters, which is crazy. It's like two weeks away. It's nuts. Um, yeah. What do you hope they'll get out of it, like takeaway wise, when they watch it? 
I hope that, well, I think that this story, it's such a tragic one, but also a really beautiful one. But the thing about it is that it's true, that this is a part of our history that everyone just skipped over. Nobody really knows about. And it's not fair to the people that suffered because of it, that we don't know about anything that happened to them or how it impacted us now as a country. So I think that what they'll take away from it is really just an honest sense of what made us the American West and what made us West, you know? Yeah, in uh, in theaters June twenty eighth, people could be able to check it out. George, it's so great chatting with you. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you so much for having me. Um, it's so great. You have a, there's an Instagram account people can keep up to date with, right? Is it just your name specifically? If people want to keep up yes, to date with. Yeah, it's Miss Georgia MacPhail. Awesome. Well, this has been Pop Turnit at <laughs> YouTube.com slash Pop Turnit for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Georgia MacPhail and PD Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnit. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. This has been an Autograph Communications production.